for the Sea Rita uh, Launch CRP 123. Um, vendor sent me this for free. And this one does, it supports OBD2 functions, meaning it scans for codes. Uh, DTC repair help, meaning that the code comes up and it'll tell you exactly what the code is or it'll search, uh, letting you know what it is to find out what the code it is. Uh, display of data form and waveform. It reads and clear codes, reads streams um, of engine, meaning that it'll show you like the sparks and the spark and everything, the fuel mixture and everything on the car. Uh, it shows you transmission codes, ABS codes, airbag codes, SRS codes. So this doesn't just show you airbag codes and regular codes it also shows you transmission codes so if you have any transmission problems any transmission issues this will show you what it is so basically it's going to come in this box it's going to have uh all these connectors here it's going to connect this connector is going to go into the top of the device then there's going to be another tab uh, that sits in here it's going to sit in there so uh and then it's gonna come with also a USB. I don't know. I guess that's the updated. Um, and a couple silica packets in here to keep, you know, moisture. Then a manual, how to register it and upgrade it is here. So right now I'm not gonna do the upgraded all that. I'm just gonna show you guys how it works on a car. Um, I'm in a customer's car, so what I'm gonna do is uh, put this together. And then uh, catch back the video for you guys. Oh, well, it also comes with a USB so you can connect it to the computer. That it'll connect to the device. Alright. So right now I put the connector into the USB port. So it's into the USB port. Uh, basically it's going to come with this. I need you guys to see the screen properly. Alright, so uh, what we'll do is uh, start the car. Put it to the second position. One, two. So the car turns on. So we can scan for OBD2 codes. So right now this is scanning the system. I think this is just scanning OBD2. I don't think it's scanning like the transmission and all the other stuff. So we press OK to confirm. So it tells me what codes. I'm reading the codes right now. <clears throat> so we have current. System two lean bank one, and that's it. That's good. One code, and then we'll go to scan. I guess this will scan the other systems. Acura, click on Acura, automatic. So now this one is doing the other system scans, checking all the other systems on the car, like the ABS system, the transmission and everything is checking all of that to let me know if there's any issues or problems in those other systems in the car. This thing works pretty quickly. It's quick, yeah. Now I'm checking the SRS. Okay, so it's rear bank sensor. That's for the engine. Let me see if we got any transmission codes. Nope. No codes for the transmission. That's always good. Yes. <laughs> Every car. Right. That's good. All right, see, we do, we have seven codes actually for the ABS system. We have one for the right front wheel speed sensor. So that's the passenger side, the left front pulsar failure, battery voltage failure, brake switch failure, wrong size tire, meaning that you had the wrong size sensor logic failure, and internal power source failure. Oh, you can flip the, yeah. 
Yeah, so there was a couple <laughs> things in here. But I think some of these codes are old. I don't think the only pen, the only real code that's pending right now is the wheel speed sensor right. on the on the passenger side. We did the brake switch. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we did all the brake switch and all right. that other stuff. So that's yeah. just probably codes from before. Uh, uh, passenger front seat buckle switch. So there's a switch in the buckle for the passenger side. When you slide the buckle into the connector, that buckle went bad. But there should be a lifetime warranty on that right. okay. uh, from the manufacturer. So the dealer should be able to take care of that okay. free and no charge. But uh, it says no signal from the ops unit. So what the ops unit is, is, is the uh, vehicle control unit when the vehicle gets into an accident. Uh, when you get into an accident, you have to replace it. So opening the front passenger side seat buckle. But these are common codes with the buckles. Yeah. So those are anything that has to do with like safety in the vehicle for restraints. Those are covered by a manufacturer yeah. for life. So uh, these are it. That's it. There's no transmission codes. It's just these codes that came up for the ABS systems. This thing works great. It works pretty quickly. This is actually my first time really using it. I've never used it before. This is my first time using it, and it did a great job. It pulled up the codes fast, and that's the thing about it that I like is that it pulls up the code fast. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I'll put a link down in the description of the video. If you guys are interested in it, I'll also add it to my Amazon store in case um, you guys are interested in getting it from the store, but I'll make sure I'll put a link down in the bottom right now and in the description of the video also so you guys can purchase if you're interested. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks a lot for subscribing, uh, like, share, and subscribe, peace.